Hi teachers, welcome to week 13 in Principles and Practices of Middle School. This week we will conclude our Brown and Knowles book by looking at assessment that promotes active learning. What I'd like for you to do once you've read the chapter is respond to the time for reflection questions which I've got a link there that will bring the same questions up from the book so you can type your responses right in there. Then also if you've been having issues trying to think of something to do for your final student-centered, I'm calling it product now, lesson, activity, assessment, etc. This chapter might get your creative juices going. Whatever you do, I just want to make certain that it is student-centered. They're the ones that are going to be doing the work not you. This will be due week 16 on the final day, that final Sunday. I realize I haven't put the date right there, but it is on the checklist. I'd like your feedback on how many peer reviews you feel that you should have to do next week and during week 15. That's what we're going to be doing is just presenting your research that you were able to uncover through your inquiry-based project, I'd like you to know. So I've actually asked two questions. One's a multiple choice, and then one is to provide me with some more feedback. If you could do that, I would greatly appreciate it. And then I'll let you know before, before we start. And the people that have signed up, I will post that here as well. I don't have it right now, but I will get that done. And lastly, this is our week for the IDEA evaluation for the course and then for me. Please, if I enjoy feedback, that's why I try to give feedback as much as possible. It's not about the grade, it's about improving. I know that there's places to improve the course, like what has happened by taking and merging principles and practices with the Guiding the Adolescent Learner course that is no longer a part of the middle school minor. Anyway, please provide feedback that will help me improve the course for future teachers. And then once you've completed the survey, but if you can email me your confirmation that you've completed the survey, you will receive an educational prize from my library because I do. I have a plethora of books that are on my shelves that would be better served if they were in the hands of someone that was teaching, actually teaching middle school or high school. If you're on campus or nearby, you can stop by and pick up your book. For those that are away, I will send you the book. Please, as always, if you have any questions, post them to the D2L discussion board. I will have your, I will have all of the middle school tour and interview papers assessed hopefully by tomorrow. I've been working on them and it is, uh, hopefully you see there's a lot of work in education. If you're busy, that's because it's getting you ready for the real job of being a teacher. Busy, but it's work that you love. Thanks for listening and I hope you have a great week.